When people talk about the big three shows that influenced children in the late 90s and the early 2000s, as along with their parents' wallets, people usually talk about Pokemon, Digimon, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Today I want to focus on Yu-Gi-Oh for the most part. While the show created fond memories for thousands of children, myself included, it did a lot of things wrong. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to sit down, take the show, put it under a microscope, and talk about everything wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1. The first point I want to mention on this list is how that the show just doesn't follow any rules for the entire first season. And I don't even mean the fact that they just summon monsters no matter what, doesn't matter the level or the type or the requirements, but the fact that they just completely ignore their own show's internal logic and things they said not even more than five minutes prior. This isn't even something they necessarily did wrong, it just comes off weird, is that for the first few episodes Tristan has this voice. <laughs> In another few hours the sun will rise. <laughs> And then suddenly becomes this voice. Yo, Joey! What? You may not have the monster to beat that thing, but you got the smarts! If you're hosting this big grand tournament that you want everyone to watch and there's huge prizes for rewards, why would you not tell the participants the rules? What would you do in the event if a player just did something that would require them to be disqualified but they didn't even know it because you decided to not tell them the rules and just leave it a secret? If you just did some illegal move, are you just going to DQ them? Then the show just doesn't happen. This leads into our next point about field power bonuses. This is Yugi's first adversity in the tournament because Weevil cheated and stole the secret rules and found out about the field power bonuses which is completely made up for the show and this is the start of where things just start going willy-nilly and they just make shit up as they go along. Yugi's spell card burning land that he uses to destroy the forest not only is retarded for the sense that he just destroys a field with a spell card for no reason but it also makes you lose 500 life points each turn but I guess they just forgot that little detail. When you stop a monster's attack using mirror force and causes it to be destroyed you don't take the damage yourself. If Yugi destroyed the Great Moth's Cocoon on turn 4 when it takes 5 turns to bring out, why is he still able to just bring it out no matter what? He's like, But I thought it took 5 turns. <laughs> so you stopped him one turn early. He's still strong enough to beat you. When a card's destroyed, you can't use it anymore. So its effects are negated unless it has something in the graveyard, which Great Moth doesn't. And none of his land monsters have the ability to attack me in the air! <laughs> What do you mean Gaia can't attack the Great Moth because it's flying? What bullshit is this? Is this fucking Pokemon now where Earthquake can't hit Gengar because it's levitating? Wait a second. Weevil just attacked three times. What is this? YCS... Yugi just used polymerization during Weevil's attack. You can only use magic spells in response if they're a quick play, meaning they have this little icon on the card. Polymerization is not one of those cards, kids. Great Moth also doesn't have a poison effect. That's a bunch of bullshit. Weevil's just cheating. <laughs> now that Yugi has realized Weevil's cheating, he's now going to do his own cheating and make up his own bullshit. Makyu doesn't wash away this non-existent poison. It also requires Summon Skull to use. Remember kids, it's only okay to duel if you're dueling for the sake of somebody else. If you have any other reason including dueling to win or have fun, that makes you a bad person. Yugi said it himself. Okay, how the fuck did Joey ever win? His deck was terrible! It was fucking 40 monsters and like two spells! He literally just had the flame swordsman spell and that was it. He relied on time wizard and fucking baby dragon. How did anyone ever lose to this idiot? He didn't even know how the game worked! Time Wizard doesn't actually age cards, it just destroys them, so the fact that he aged the Harpy Ladies is a bunch of shit. Thousand Dragon also requires polymerization. A card Joey doesn't have in his deck. Ah, the classic hiding cards underwater. I haven't seen that tactic in years. That's just a JPEG. card is actually called Mystical Moon. Mako just used his normal monster to flood the field because it was a fish. And now Yugi orders his monster to attack the moon? Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, discount Yugi? 
Man-eating plant, attack! Fireball, attack! Yugi just attacked during Mokuba's turn. You can't win a duel with cards that don't rightfully belong to you. Apparently you can't duel with a deck that isn't yours or else it won't listen to you. Because pieces of paper have a will of their own. Mokuba had to run from the other side of the arena. How did Yugi not see this coming and have time to react? If I can't beat you, uh, I'll have you disqualified! My also, starches. if he only took two, how is Yugi disqualified is if he has three more? I've run computer simulations, probability scenarios, and quantum analysis of our duel, but I still don't have the answer. How the fuck do you quantum analyze a duel? Another excellent example of four kids censorship because apparently kids can't see the sight of a gun. Watch out, Kaiba! They're gonna point their fingers at you. Locating orbital coordinates. Breaching onboard computer security. You are now the proud owner of an Industrial Illusions satellite. Great. Now plot a crash course for the computer mainframe. Okay, Kaiba, I get that Pegasus stole your brother, but you just drove a satellite into a building. Do you know how many people you just killed? Yugi summons a monster in face-up defense position. You can't do that. You gotta lay it face down. The classic stereotypical hacking shit that everyone hates in anything ever. We're going in. Magical Hats is also a trap card, not a spell, and it lasts for one turn. The only reason Yugi won this duel is because Kaiba helped him by cheating. Look at our self-righteous king of games cheating his way to the top. It's only okay when I cheat because I have to save my grandfather. Joey shoves Tristan, yet he has a punch mark on his face. Thanks a lot, four kids. I really hate to keep bringing this back up, but how does Joey ever win? He does the same damn thing every time. Poor baby. Looks like we found out what he was made of, but I didn't get to play my combo. Joey just plays Baby Dragon alone and expects it to survive to his next turn so he can make a play. What kind of fucking idiot is he? Should I really continue to mention the fact that they keep summoning monsters higher than level 4 without tributing? Time Wizard! Joey puts Time Wizard face down in the spell zone. Not to mention the fact he says what he's putting down, completely defeating the purpose of setting things face down. Joey also normal summons Flame Swordsman, which is a fusion monster. There is no way Joey could have known that dinosaur cards are especially vulnerable to fire. That jerk, he totally lucked out on that one. This isn't Pokemon. Types don't actually beat other types. Tell me how a swordsman can beat a dinosaur! If Rex was supposed to come second place at a regional, you'd think he would know that types were weak to other types? I actually won that? Joey didn't even know he would kill the monster, he just threw his fucking swordsman at it. What did he think would happen? Again, going back to the point that Joey's deck is fucking terrible, his strongest card is an 1800 attack fusion monster that he never brings out the correct way and no one seems to stop him nor care. Is everyone just treating Joey like the special kid in class where they just let him win? Oh, I get it. The red one blocked for the green one. Tristan's card was there right when I needed it most. Of course! Those two monsters are like best friends, so when they're together on the field, they help power each other up! Monsters also can't block each other's attacks because they're friends. We'll both put up whatever card we have on the field, sound good? What? I don't have any cards on the- Huh? Oh yeah, my Time Wizard! I forgot about that! Joey forgot that he had Time Wizard on the field. The only reason he won was because Rex reminded him. Someone please explain to me how this person continues to win. Again, Time Wizard still doesn't work that way, and doesn't make you take damage if your monster's destroyed by Time Wizard's effect. Now Tristan shoves Joey, and he has his magical mark upon his cheek. I'd still continue to thank four kids for this. But Cora found out Taya was the face down card because she lifted herself up to look out from under the card. The monster that Taya is based off of is a one star monster. Why the fuck is it a seven star with 2500 attack now? How did crying activate her effect? <sighs> I want to help, but we must act quickly, Yugi! I've taken over one of his cards instead of yours! Huh? Bakor just used Change of Heart on his own monster, completely ignoring what the card does because plot armor. If the evil power of Bakura's Millennium Ring can pull souls from people, perhaps the power of my Millennium Puzzle can put them back! 
And then Yami swapped the Bakora spirits because even more plot armor had to happen this episode in order for Yugi to win. Why would these arenas have leg shackles and flamethrowers attached to them? Remember, this is a tournament for a child's card game. The Castle of Dark Illusion can't hide monsters in its darkness. This is another thing they added to the show to create tension and drama. Panic also summons a fusion monster without using poly. I don't know what's up with this show and not actually using polymerization to summon their fusion monsters. Yugi has his monster attack the darkness directly as if it's some kind of monster itself. You know, instead of just the absence of light. Why doesn't anyone just attack directly once they destroy all the monsters instead of just prolonging the duel and then end up losing because Yugi pulls something out of his ass? The Reaper must actually be flipped first to destroy traps and it only destroys one. What? It's veering away! Instead of destroying Yugi's Curse of Dragon, it's attacking my Reaper of the Car! Curse you and your Spellbinding Circle! It's light drew in my energy blast! Spellbinding Circle does not attract an attack like the monster is some kind of fucking moth. I've drawn a Chaos Shield card! The card is actually called Yellow Luster Shield. It only raises their defense by 300. It doesn't actually stop attacks. Why is there a control console to the flamethrowers to make them stronger on Panic's side of the field? Remember, this is still a tournament for a children's card game. Then I'll deactivate my Chaos Shield and my monsters will be free to attack him all at once! You can't just deactivate a spell card whenever you want. I think the makers of the show took Catapult Turtle's effect a little too literally because it doesn't actually fire a monster off its catapult. Why would firing Gaia using Catapult Turtle at the tower increase Gaia's attack? My monster's defense power is still much too strong for you! <laughs> Panic says his monster is too strong for Yugi to break through, yet they have equal attack and defense, so if they fought each other, nothing would happen. So why does Yugi end up taking so much damage? For all your threats, my castle is unharmed! Your worthless attack simply knocked its flotation ring off! There's no such thing as the castle's flotation device. Doesn't it seem strange to you that a castle that's lost its flotation ring is somehow still floating? What if the Swords of Revealing Light had locked in place not only your monsters, but your castle as well? Swords of Revealing Light also does not hold the monsters in place. Run, monsters! Get out of the way! It's no good. The Chaos Shield is keeping them from running anywhere. You've trapped them all inside. <laughs> Yellow Luster's shield does not trap its monsters within it. Why would the castle falling onto its monsters crushing them cause Panic to take damage? How does the Millennium Puzzle stop the flamethrowers and in the process create a tornado? In the English translation, Yami crushes Panic's mind, but in the original, he sends him to the Shadow Realm. Not really sure why they changed the scene to leave out the Shadow Realm because it gets introduced later. Maybe because it's perceived as a villainous thing to do and Yami's supposed to be the hero of the show and you can't have the hero doing evil things. Yes! He withstood your attack! Oh, did he? Look again! <laughs> Believe it! That ugly overgrown ox! He cut my lizard in half! Why would Joey think that his armored lizard would survive attacking a stronger monster? Why does he continue to keep attacking with weak monsters? How does Bandit Keith lose when he has a 2400 attack monster on the field and the kid summons an 1850 monster and says, uh, Oh, I think I, think I, I just, just took all of your life points. points. How does anyone read this letter from Mai? Bones uses Call of the Haunted as a spell, even though it's a trap. And it's not like the show drew it as a spell. They even drew it as a trap. Call of the Haunted only brings back one monster and doesn't make it invincible like Bones states it does. Zombie cards aren't immortal and don't keep coming back stronger and stronger each time you knock them down. Pumpkin King doesn't make other monsters stronger. It only gains 100 attack each standby phase if you have Castle of Dark Illusion. <sighs> With their attack points at zero, the zombies can't come back to life! Zombie cards don't stop coming back if their attack is zero because they don't come back at all in the first place! Labyrinth Wall can't be used as a field spell because it's a monster. Also, monsters can't be sent into said maze or only move through it based on their level. Beaver Warrior only moves three spaces even though Yugi tells it to move four. Para and Dox fuse the shadow into the wall so it can move freely now because the wall has no spaces. Ignoring the fact that there isn't even a fusion card for these two monsters. Yugi and Joey can't attack the shadow because the wall doesn't occupy a space itself. They set Jirai Gumo in the spell and trap zone. <laughs> Any opposing monster that steps on the space with Jirai Gumo's symbol will instantly fall victim to its fatal surprise. <laughs> 
Also, its real effect is when it declares an attack, you flip a coin. If you call it wrong, you lose half your life points. Jirai Gumo's attack is 2200, not 2100. Once again, people summoning fusion cards without using polymerization. Holy shit, Joey has a trap in his deck. Where the fuck did he get that? Joey can't give Yugi's monster 500 attack with kunai with chain. It's only one of his. <laughs> These goofy sounds when people are fighting each other. Thanks again, four kids. We really needed this. Magical Labyrinth doesn't change the layout of Labyrinth Wall because this isn't how the card works in the first place. Mystic Box doesn't swap monster positions. Why are the Gate Guardian pieces summoned into these little boxes? Gate Guardian can't use each of its monster's individual effects once it's summoned. Tricking Para and Docs to flood the labyrinth with Suijin so they could use the water as a conductor for Summon Skull to attack from the other end. Joey just got red eyes yesterday. Why the fuck would either of them have Black Skull Dragon? They also use Polymerization as a quick play again. Black Skull Dragon can't go through the maze because it's a maze rule stating that it's a no-fly zone and Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon can only move by flight for some reason. You can't just destroy specific sections of the Gate Guardian because it's one monster. Copycat actually has zero defense and zero attack and is an effect monster. You can't attack with multiple parts of the Gate Guardian because it is one monster, not three, stacked on top of each other. This whole changing place bullshit doesn't even exist, nor does Monster Swap. It's not a real card. Remember that time Tay was being blackmailed and almost raped by their gym teacher and then Yami sent him to the Shadow Realm? Yeah, this is, this is a kid show. Why does no one notice that Yugi grows in size when he's Yami? Sword Stalker is actually a normal monster so it doesn't have an effect so that means it doesn't gain 20% of the attack of its fallen allies. Ancient Lamp is actually a monster card. Crush Card Virus is a trap. Multiply doesn't infinitely keep creating Karibo. You can't use polymerization to fuse a monster and a spell card together. That's just fucking stupid. Ultimate Blue Eyes does not count as three monsters, only one, so you don't have to kill each head and it cannot attack three times. Remember that time Kaiba threatened to kill himself if he lost a duel? Or move, Yugi. You can attack my blue eyes again and wipe out my remaining life points, but if you do, the resulting shockwaves might cause me to lose my balance. Please explain to me, Kaiba, how a hologram would create a shockwave that would blast you off the castle ledge. Man, fuck Joey. How did Yugi ever win? Literally, he only won because someone intervened and helped him cheat, or Yami did all the work. A powerful one. If only I can remember what it does! Think, Taya, think! How the hell do you forget what a card does? It says its effect on the card. Oh wait, it doesn't in English. Thanks, four kids. See, Yuki only got in is because Mai pitied him and surrendered when she could have easily won. Miss me. Whoops. Too slow. Forget this little grudge of yours, wait. You wish, creep. Fart sounds when they punch each other? Really, four kids? Was this really necessary? Proxy is not a real card. Negative energy also doesn't exist. Well, all I know about it is that it was never put into circulation. It was too powerful. I guess Pegasus must have the only one. If Toon World was supposed to be so strong it was never released, why is Pegasus allowed to use it? Wouldn't that break the game and give him an unfair advantage? I want to take a moment explain why this is so stupid by talking about the real card game itself. There was a deck released last year that everyone played and it was called Pepe. Not that one, that it was so broken they had to make emergency ban lists and ban multiple cards twice. And even then it still wasn't enough. The deck was so broken that if you played it, you automatically won basically because you lock out your opponent from playing the game. So just imagine you worked your way up to the tournament and beat all the opponents opponents you had to play and then you got to Pegasus and he used bullshit cards that are supposed to be banned because they're so strong. How is that fair? Toon World doesn't make monsters immune to attacks. Shine Pals raises attack by 700. Now not only can your Toon not move, but his attack power is lowered by 700 points. Oh, they got the card's effect wrong, so Kaiba could plot armor it and destroy it with dark chains and blue eyes. Now do you understand that nothing will stop me from rescuing my brother Pegasus? 
even destroying my own blue eyes. Calm down, dude. You destroyed the car in one duel. It's not like you ripped it and ruined it forever. Oh, wait. A doodad called Doppelganger. A doppelganger is a trap card. Hurry up and call up your attack, Kaiba! You can't cancel attacks when you want. That would be stupid. Why the fuck is that one card white? Was that four kids doing? How the fuck did Tristan climb all the way up there? That was mighty convenient. There just happened to be a grappling hook on the wall. It was almost like it was written in for plot convenience. Once again, the show is giving me more evidence to believe that Yami is the only reason why Yugi ever won a duel. You know, Mystical Space Typhoon would be really useful in any of these duels, but I guess nobody uses good cards in the show. I play this accessory card, Shadow of Eyes. What the fuck is an accessory card? I can't lose this match. Yugi, let me help you. If you continue to hold me back, everybody loses. Yes, Yugi, please stop being a little bitch and let Yami win the duels for you. You are fucking garbage. Please, let me help you. No, I can't risk turning you loose. I don't understand how Yugi can think this is Yami's fault when Kaiba threatened to kill himself. Why would you think you'd be ever put in a situation like this ever again? <laughs> nice move, Yugi. But Harpy's pet dragon is only a servant of Harpy Lady, and even brainwashed, it would never think of turning on its master. Again, they're pieces of paper. Cards hold no allegiance. They can't just ignore an attack because they would be attacking their master. Uh, oh no, the catapult turtle has the power to destroy walls and fortresses. You can't use catapult turtle to destroy walls, aka spells. Oh no, not one of these cards is strong enough to bring down my harpies. Yugi says he doesn't have a strong enough monster to defeat the Harpy Ladies, yet he has Monster Reborn and can just bring back Dark Magician. It involves the Black Luster Ritual, and three turns might not be enough. Black Luster Ritual? What's that? Yugi doesn't even know what's in his deck! How is this person the king of games? Why did you say all those times you didn't have a card strong enough to beat X, but you have Black Luster Soldier the whole time? Or did you just magically get it before this duel? How the hell did Bandit Keith get a couch in there? You bet it's right. All of my machine monsters are protected by magic resistant armor. Machine monsters aren't immune to magic. That's a load of bullshit. There's also no such thing as magic resistant armor. Fucking idiot dropped his card. He can't take that back. Someone call a rep. Wait, so Flame Swordsman is a normal monster now, even though it's been a fusion monster this whole time? I guess they finally realized he was just ignoring the summoning requirements. That new metallic paint job he's sporting deflects all magic attacks back to where they came from. My swordsman! If they're following the rule that elements beat each other, why wouldn't Flame Swordsman beat machines? Doesn't fire melt metal? So now Stop Defense is a spell card when they drew it as a trap during the Kaiba vs. Yugi duel? Chasma Spikes, not a card, kids. You amateur! That's gotta be the lousiest bluff I've ever heard in my entire dueling career! How could you think Joey was bluffing when he put anything in his spell zone? The guy literally only has Kunai with Chain in his deck. Man, this has gotta be the closest match I've ever seen! That was the closest duel you've ever seen, Tristan? Literally every duel you guys are in is close, and you're about to lose until you pull shit out your ass! Why, it's practically a battle of good versus evil! <laughs> How amusing. Once again, redemption and revenge is shown as being evil. Watch out, Joey! It's Nerf Gun Dragon! Was four kids even trying with this one? Oh no! The children! They can't see cannons! Think of the children! See, with its triple attack laser discharge system, it has three attacks, not just one! Barrel Dragon doesn't attack three times. Its actual effect is if you target a monster, you could flip a coin three times, and if at least two times its heads, the card is destroyed. Was that a stolen Star Wars blaster sound? How does no one notice that he pulls a card out of his sleeve, or that he has one more card in his hand than he should have? Where do they keep getting these one-off cards that are handy in each specific duel? Did they really have no original sound effects? Red Eyes' roar is just a tiger. Dragon Nails isn't a real card. Pillager, also not a real card. Ah, uh, the classic repeat emotion over and over again three times to fill up time and save budget.
Man, fuck the Millennium Eye. The Millennium Finger Pistols are where it's at. Ouch. Did they include that ouch sound so it would look like Bandit Keith wasn't just murdered because it's supposed to be a kid show, even though they just had rape a few episodes earlier? If two people are dueling for someone else, does that mean that neither of them can lose because they have so much plot armor? Okay guys, we gotta pad the episode because we're out of budget. Let's just include a flashback with a bunch of cheesy music over it to show how much Joey and Yugi are good friends. Guilty is a fusion monster, but I guess Joey just doesn't know what a fusion monster is. Why is Yugi surprised when Joey used sword and shield? The guy literally uses the same three strats every duel. What's he playing that throwaway monster for? Who knows? Perhaps Joey hasn't learned as much as we thought! Uh. How the fuck have these idiots not learned anything yet? They've both watched Joey and Yugi duel every time. They use the same monsters. It's not like they're doing something new. Grave Robber can't steal monsters. Holy fuck! Joey used polymerization! Yugi was able to use a spell during Joey's turn because his magician aged over a thousand years. I guess in those a thousand years, he learned how to break the rules. Tears of a Mermaid doesn't exist. Trap Displacement isn't a card. How did Bakora make a card real? Gorgon's Eye is not a permanent trap, nor does it turn your monsters to stone or make you take half their defense points as damage. <laughs> I see you've drawn the fabled Dark Magician. It's like I'm not even trying to hide the fact I'm cheating, Yugi boy. I guess Four Kids was short on budget this week because they just had Eric Stewart, the voice of Kaiba, be every guard in the episode. It's all over. Give us back our prisoner now and we might still let you leave in one piece. So, punk, what's it gonna be? Uh, oh no! He's brought the monster on the guard to life and he's gonna sick it on us! Once Pegasus loses the ability to read Yugi's mind, it shows that he also sucks, just like every other character in this fucking show and only wins by cheating. Magical neutralizing force, not a real card. When Pegasus puts Dark Illusionist on the field that says its defense is 1400, why is it 0 0? And did I tell you? It's a monster I created just for this game! <gasps> and don't forget. Pegasus is using brand new cards he made for this duel? What fucking bullshit is this? I'm actually genuinely surprised they got relinquished right. How did the gang block the thoughts? Ugh, fucking plot armor. He can't just use Mystic Box to unequip Dark Magician from Relinquished. No fair! Pegasus is complaining that it's not fair that he can't cheat. How does multiplying Karibos exactly beat Restrict? Damn, now that was a lot of shit the show got wrong. If you made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you for sitting through 27 minutes of me babbling about a kid's show and how incorrect a lot of the things were in it. If you liked the video, I ask that you could pass it along to your friends, because every extra view helps. See you next time.